So it is an uh, armored engineering vehicle, which is uh, already in service with the Swedish army, the Dutch army uh, and uh, the Swiss army. Um, and it has been procured by uh, Germany um, at an amount of 44 vehicles. The vehicle is uh, um, capable to uh, build trenches uh, and therefore it has an excavator arm. But it also has uh, the, uh, the shield in front of it, uh, um, of course also close trenches uh, and uh, breach uh, some obstacles. Yeah. And uh, what is uh, unique about the Kodiak is uh, that it has a massive uh, protection uh, on the front and in the, uh, on the side. The reason for that is uh, that uh, armored engineers uh, work normally uh, in front uh, or close to the uh, main fighting groups and this is uh, why we need this, this kind of protection. The uh, vehicle is uh, based on a Leopard 2 chassis uh, in this case, but we can also build it on the Panther chassis, uh, where the interfaces concerning the running gear and the main power pack and all that stuff are uh, uh, are equal um, and uh, thus it is uh, capable to be used uh, together with the Leopard 2 fleets uh, and uh, the Panther fleets where they are fielded. The Kodiak is uh, used by, uh, operated by a two-man group up to three men uh, fit into the vehicle and we are working on a remote controlled system so uh, to keep uh, the people out of uh, the vehicle when for example uh, doing a, a trench breach or stuff like that. <laughs>